come here? I work with my uncle. Are you scared of him? Oh, he's a, he's the nicest man in the world. The Osage, their time is over. We got to take back control of our home. 80-year-old director Martin Scorsese is known for giving us movies about criminals doing very bad things. And Killers of the Flower Moon does the same thing, just in a different time and in a different culture. This is the true story of what happened to the Native American Osage Nation at the turn of the century when they were given a patch of land in Oklahoma, landing uh, a land that was found to be oil rich, making the Osage among the wealthiest people in the territory. Exploiting the rich Native Americans, white men started marrying Osage women so they could live the life of luxury, but worse, murdering them so they could inherit their wealth. A reign of terror, as they called it, swept the area, so much so that J. Edgar Hoover's Bureau of Investigation eventually launched a probe into what was going on there and who was behind it all. Leonardo DiCaprio is one of those bad guys working for his uncle, played by Robert De Niro, the diabolical fat cat boss known as the king of the Osage Hills, who had his eye on all of that oil money. Not a surprise that these two Oscar winners shine in their dark role, as does the stoic Osage woman being manipulated for her family fortune. Lily Gladstone is the heart of this movie and is sure to be up for Oscar contention for her dimensional, thoughtful performance. Killers of the Flower Moon is a beautiful movie with each section unveiled elegantly, yet with grit. An almost perfect movie, except for one thing, <laughs> its length. It is three and a half hours oh. long, painfully longer than it needs to be. Instead of making it easy to sit back and enjoy this story, Scorsese makes it very challenging. It is a beautiful Western with meticulous attention to detail, just way too much of it. So I dropped it down to a Deansless B+. You can always get my weekly movie reviews sent to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999, sponsored by Lyric Opera of Chicago, presenting The Daughter of the Regiment on stage November 4th through 25th. Get tickets at lyricopera.org.